We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Chop Robinson, Miami Dolphins edge defender, and I really wanted to focus on how he's going to be a huge mismatch in this specific scenario where he aligns along the interior, not as like a true edge defender, and he gets one-on-one -on -one either versus guards or centers, uh, or he's just used in like the twist and stunt game. Like, he's going to be so effective in this area, and it's something, you know, we started seeing a lot of last year from guys like Micah Parsons. Uh, Miles Garrett would do it a little bit. And I like, here's an example of Parsons, you know, lining over the center, hitting him, you know, <laughs> with like the, the crossover, like basketball, like, like move, you know, that's something Garrett was doing. Uh, another example of him winning versus the interior, uh, and not even just in a third down pass for a situation, doing it versus, you know, uh, versus a run play, clearly just beating a guard. Uh, examples of the Ravens doing it last year, because, you know, the Dolphins are going to be, uh, you know, running that system that Weaver's going to bring in, that Baltimore was doing. They were doing those types of things with Jason Owe. Uh, who is also another super athletic freak out of Penn State. There's so many examples that I kind of want to look at where he's able to, you know, either he's getting the pressure, getting the sack, or creating super disruption, or he's getting a lot of attention coming his way and creating one-on-ones for others. So this is why, like, this big mismatch, and I think this is where he'll make his biggest impact uh, in year one, especially, like, once Phillips and Chubb come back healthy. I feel like this is where you're going to see Chubb, or Chubb come on the field because getting hands on him and keeping up with this level of, first step uh as like a guard or a, you know a center they don't have the level of athleticism to match that and the reason you don't find up here full time is because you know versus the run they might get bullied in the run game they could still you know slip underneath blo blocks um but right here man it's so special getting him like this one-on-one -on -one isolated look he's basically aligned as like a three tech here the explosiveness the guy gets no hands on him then rips underneath uh completely blows up the play instantly which is so special and then the next play, just head up over the center. This is stuff that I really want to see. Like, this is, like, the stuff that I was showing with Parsons and stuff he was doing last year. And I think Chop and Parsons actually have pretty similar skill sets when it comes to rushing off the uh, at the pass and how they win. And it's not like he's just going to win by just beating you with his quickness, uh, that first step stuff. Like, he can now, you know, do that, but then also beat you with some speed to power. Plus, he's just head up over him. Usually, you know, these centers are sliding to his side, uh, and he can just create that disruption Look at him use that uh, leverage like he just has low center of gravity here, gets underneath, catches him off guard, and then pushes the center into the back and then helps, you know, get that guy to the ground. Complete and utter disruption. Huge mismatch. This is like where I think you're going to see a lot of players starting to do this more and more at the NFL level after last season uh, with edges moving more into the interior. Players specifically like this that had that crazy, they might be undersized, you might not expect them to be that type of player, but they have that crazy first step explosiveness. But even like this, like Chop is basically lined up as like a three tech standing up. And he is so bendy and athletic. He's still able to get outside of the tackle, rip underneath, bend and like get pressure on the quarterback for him to, you know, throw it down to the flat and, you know, be inaccurate with it. Like from his pre-snap alignment to still do that is absolutely insane. Like <laughs> with how they were moving people around and stuff, that's pretty much not natural. Here's the example of Parsons, you know. Hitting that basketball crossover. Uh, they're sliding their protection to the right, it looks like. But he sees now uh, once... Like, very love this setup from the Cowboys. Because it seems like once he lines up... Because he's going back and forth, pre snap back and forth. But then he ends up on this side. So then they slide to the right. And with these guys super wide. Like, the next D tackle is lined up head up uh, with the, the left tackle. Basically, like, in a, a, a four position right there. And then they have a linebacker here in a wide nine. So this setup, you know, basically gets, you know, these three to slide to the right. And since these guys are so wide, this guard has to get out all this space to get out here. And now you get a huge one-on-one -on -one with all this space created here. And Parsons able to just get there and force the, the quarterback to escape the pocket, which ends up turning into an interception. Um, but yeah, that's the kind of thing that I really think where Chop is going to feed and they're going to get him to get after the quarterback in those one-on-one situations versus center specifically, but also guards. Here is even Parsons doing it versus the run where he's basically playing as a stand up on the line of scrimmage with a little bit of space. And he does have some linebacker like instincts. You know, he played linebacker at Penn State as like an off ball guy. But those are just some examples. Ravens kind of doing it here. This is something I think you could see the Dolphins doing. Uh, they have their edges or their D tackles on the edges playing as like big edges, you know, uh, Mount of Buike. And I think that's Pierce too. I could think you could see this where it's like Sealer on the outside, Calais on one side, and they both have the ability to play as big edges in certain snap situations. So I think that's good. 
and then you have like your other your your, your pure edges which is oa and clowny standing up on the interior which chop can do we saw phillips do it last year even you know chubb has some experience doing it i think chop and phillips are probably your best examples of those guys but they basically have all these ways to win in the interior um it actually gets blocked up pretty well uh, but once you know the guy has to escape the pocket with now with this guy in the interior he has this perfect lane to now track him down and close that space so fast uh very very impressed overall with it and then twist and stunt game it helps with some of the things because now your edge guy can crash out the person off the edge and then with chop on the interior he gets all this room to work with on this loop and he's so explosive now that he gets this guy in space boom great use of hands to swipe that away uh very quick that ball ends up getting intercepted as well uh so it also helps in that interior stunt game you can either get your one-on-one -on -one matches or continuously loop these guys around crash a guy down uh definitely creates a lot of chaos for them and the o-line will be very very nervous here chop is so explosive off the also there's the explosiveness off the ball demands attention that first step just puts these guys in such a situation and then look how hard they slide this protection over to Chop's side. Chop ends up facing a triple team, which then, you know, gets uh, the ball to come out quickly. But it's just the an attention thing. Like, they end up getting the completion. But this is something that, you know, you're going to see where you get a one-on-one -on -one created versus a running back here with your linebacker, like, that he should win very quickly. This guy's then looping across. Chop is basically just crashing to the outside to take multiple people away, which he does. So that's, uh, you know, another nice example of it. Here's another example where it ends up being a bad snap where a guy's He's lined up, chops hand, one hand in the dirt over a center, and he, the center ends up giving a bad snap because he is so nervous versus Chop that he has to get up out of his stance quickly. Chop is so quick off the ball, you can see how much uh, quicker he is engaged. Like, he's already in, like, engaged with the center. These guys are still getting off the ball, and he's already created all this push into the backfield. The quarterback doesn't have the ball. He has to, like, dive on top of it or whatever. It's insane the level of disruption that this causes and with the amount of edges the Dolphins have on the roster that can play multiple different spots. I think once you see everyone healthy, they're still going to want Chop Robinson to see playing time as a first round pick. So putting him on the, you know, interior snaps, super helpful. Um, and then here uh, he's lined up, head up over the center. He's trying to loop around. They, you know, do a good job catching this game. They face a lot of the attention here. But from them doing all of this with their alignments, they drop people out, but they, you know, end up getting a two versus three here. But it allows this DB to come off the edge and get a one on one with a running back with like a lot of space to work with, with like a decent amount of space. Because this left tackle doesn't gain a ton of depth because they're very focused on this game on the interior that the tackle wants to help with chop looping around. So it just creates all the space to work with from a DB love uh the way that they used him at penn state and it wasn't like they did this every single game like this iowa game is definitely the best example of them doing this stuff and he absolutely destroyed there's other games where he didn't see any snaps on the interior uh but uh like this iowa game was the, definitely the one where he saw the most and he pretty much had impact snaps on almost all of them and i think that's gonna be huge i think it's the way the nfl is kind of moving towards getting more of these types of looks obviously it's not gonna be an every snap type thing especially when they're in situations where they can run the ball. But even then, if they are, you can still make plays like Parsons just there because you can still win with your quickness, uh, block avoidance skills if you have, you know, a natural feel for the game too. And even when it doesn't work out cleanly, it just gives you, uh, like, more attention, more focus from the interior of it all with more guys to create one-on-one -on -one matchups elsewhere. So big fan of that specific usage. Uh, that Chop can create, and I'm excited to see how it ends up looking uh, this next season. And just throughout his career, I think you're going to see those types of looks, especially because I wouldn't be surprised if that's where he probably looks his best, um, especially in year one. So if you guys know the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, because he has a